Hi guys, it's Jess from Honest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my giant book haul. All right guys, so it's been a few months since I filmed a book haul, and although I feel like I've been pretty good with not purchasing books very impulsively, I am a part of a lot of book subscription boxes, so I have a lot of those books to show you. I also ordered a lot of special editions over the summer, and they finally arrived, and then I did Cave, and I did buy a couple books. So this is a pretty big book haul, so I will be sorting this by genre, starting with YA fantasy, and then adult fantasy, and then fantasy romance, and then contemporary romance, and I am very excited to talk about these books with you guys. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads, both linked down below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about these books. And starting off with YA Fantasy, first up, we have A Curse for True Love, which is the third and final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. Now, I loved the second book in that series, The Ballad of Never After, so, so much, and I was so looking forward to reading this book, and unfortunately, it didn't work for me. Um, I will go into exactly why that is in my November wrap-up. However, I just, it was such, it was such a letdown, and the longer it's been since I finished this book, the more frustrated I am about it. Um, I do think it gives you a solid conclusion for the most part, but I just wanted so much more out of this book and I didn't get it and that is so, so upsetting. But I do think if you love The Ballad of Never After and you really wanna know what happens, read this book. But overall, I was just a little bit underwhelmed. And next up is a Fairloose special edition. So we have The Forest Grimm by Catherine Purdy. So this is a YA fantasy. We are following two best friends, Clara and Axel, as they travel into a forbidden forest to try to find the Book of Fortunes in order to save their village from an evil curse. And the illustrations in this look like dark fairy tales. Like, it seems very atmospheric, and I'm very excited to pick this up. And moving into adult fantasy, first up we have The Hurricane Wars. So I had no idea what this book was about, so I decided to Google it and was very surprised to see. It is actually on the Goodreads Choice Awards for one of the best romanticy books. Um, I believe romanticy is a new category on the Goodreads Choice Awards. I really don't follow it very closely. And I, I have not heard about this book. Apparently it has a lot of reviews. I knew nothing about it. So I am very excited to give it a try. But from what I gathered from the synopsis, we are following this girl who was an orphan. And in this world, there are hurricane wars where these two groups of people or multiple groups of people fight to the death. And she has this power and she doesn't understand where it comes from that creates this blinding light. Now, our other character is the son of a king that went mad because of a blinding light. And he is determined to kill off any enemy to his kingdom. So he ends up seeing this girl on the battlefield glowing and is like, oh my gosh, Definitely an enemy tries to kill her, isn't able to kill her, and the story goes from there. So I, I'm i intrigued. I will definitely be reading this. I might do a vlog where I read like books on the Romanticy Goodreads Choice Awards that I had never heard of just because there are a lot of titles on there that I, I had no idea existed. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. But yeah, I definitely want to pick this up very, very soon. And next up for adult fantasy, we have... Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. So I did make a mistake in another video. I said this was YA fantasy, and that is because I completely based that on this cover. This cover just screams YA to me. I have no idea why, but it is actually Cassandra Clare's first adult fantasy that is not set in the Shadowhunter universe. So I am still debating if I want to pick this up or not. I haven't really read much by Cassandra Clare. I started that series. I read the first two books, and then I just didn't keep going. So I don't know. I kind of want to try it. But also, it is very, very thick, so it, it seems like a book. If I do read it, I probably won't be reading it until December or January. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've read this and what you think. And the first of my impulse buys was about the special edition of Fourth Wing, despite the fact I already have two other editions of this book. However, I just thought the red cover was really pretty, and I don't know, I just, I, yeah. Do I regret it? No. Did I need it? Also no. But I will say, I got mine from BAM Books, and... The edges are like pristine. I don't know where they kept this in the warehouse, but like they did a really good job because I've been seeing some of them on Bookstagram where the black sprayed edges are like all messed up and I've, I've had that happen and it's so frustrating. So yeah, Bam did a great job and I'm so happy about that. And of course, I also bought Iron Flame. I, I was so, this is one of my most anticipated books um, of the year after finishing 
fourth wing, which also came out this year, which is absolutely insane. But anyway, I'm not going to explain my thoughts on this book because there is a live show happening on Sunday. What month is it? <laughs> Sunday, November 26th on Booked for Romance's channel, where a few of us are going to discuss this book. And I have a feeling we all have very different opinions. But anyway, I'm, I'm very excited for that live show. So make sure to join us. I will have all the information down in the cards below. And next up, we have A Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden. So this was the book club pick for Hannah from Hannah Blackwell's uh, Fantasy Romance Book of the Month. So I actually did a live show yesterday with Hannah and then Tiff from Tiff Talks Pages where we were talking about this book and like reading it and doing reading sprints and it was really, really fun. But anyway, I'm very much enjoying this. I will say I'm, I think on chapter 18 or 17 and it is very predictable. It's a little formulaic, however, it's a fun time. It kind of gives like Akatar vibes, also a Curse of Shadow and Thorns, um, but I am enjoying it. But something very funny we discovered on the live show, we all held up our book and I realized that my book looked different than Hannah and Tiff's. And that is because apparently this got picked up by a publisher and I had no idea. So this is the indie version. And I will say it doesn't exactly match the audio. There are sentences taken out. There are a couple like words removed. I don't think it's like super impactful, but it is kind of funny just to like be listening to the audio and following with the physical book and there just being like sentences missing. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see like what all of the differences are. But overall, like I said, if you like fantasy romance like Akatar, FBAA, you will probably really enjoy this. And moving into dark and contemporary romance, first up we have Take You Down by McKay Marie. So this is a rock star romance that is following Scarlett and Walker. I believe Scarlett is a songwriter and then Walker is like a rock star. And I'm very excited to pick this up. Now, you might recognize this author's name. She's also known as Oh Hey It's McKay on BookTube and Bookstagram. And I just want to say a huge congratulations to McKay. I am so excited for you. I don't know how she was able to have a full-time job, also manage her BookTube, and also write and publish a book. It is absolutely insane, and I'm just so, so happy for you. So I will have a link for this book down in the description below. Definitely check it out and just... So many positive vibes for you, McKay. I'm just so excited for you. And next up, we have IOU, and this was so kindly sent to me from the author, Christy Marie. And I saw in Goodreads, this is described as being a new adult college romance that's dark, but also a little humorous. And then the blurb on the front is, take a card, owe him a favor. I promise you'll regret it. So I am very excited to pick this up. And another huge thank you to the author, Christy Marie, for sending this to me. And next up, we have Butcher and Blackbird, and this is by Bryn Weaver. I'm obsessed with this book. I need you all to read it. Definitely check out the audio. So we are following these two vigilante serial killers that go to kill the same person, have this chance encounter, and they decide that every year they are going to compete to kill a specific serial killer and whoever does it first wins. So as they're doing this every year, they're slowly falling more and more in love. And it's just adorable because these two people are brutal murderers, but yet they are like kind of socially awkward and they don't know how to like talk to the other one. And it's just so adorable, but yet so grotesque in some scenes. Like there's an entire page of trigger warnings and while all of these cute moments are happening, the background is just like absolute horror. And I loved it. I loved it so much. It also gets unbelievably spicy towards the end. And it is just the perfect book. Please, please read this. Joe Arden does the narration and he is phenomenal. And I just, I love this book so, so much. And next up, I have the Hello Lovely special edition of Out on a Limb by Helen Bonham Young. And as you can see, it's still in the plastic because I own the original copy of the book and I don't want to take this out of the plastic until I decide if I actually like the book or not. So the audio for this book comes out in early December, so I will be reading this in December, but I believe it's following this girl who is trying to be very independent. She likes to do things all on her own, and then she ends up having a one-night stand with a stranger, and then they end up deciding to become friends, but nothing more, and then slowly things start to change. And I know Avery um, absolutely loved this book, so I am very excited to pick this up. And like I said, I will definitely be reading this in December. And the next two books are both from Mystic Box. So we have Heist by Tay James and then Forgery by Tay James. So I will say on Goodreads, it says that these are part of a three book series. So that's kind of annoying if that is the case, only because I really don't love when book boxes send you like partial books in series. However, Goodreads has been wrong. So it's very possible this is actually a duet. Um, as you can see, I have not taken it out of the plastic and that is because 
I am not the biggest fan of Tay James. Um, I attempted to read the Madison Kate series and it just, it didn't work for me. And honestly, I just don't love MMA romances. I have a history, I'm just not a fan. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but hopefully there is an audio. And I will also say Mystic Box is probably my favorite uh, box at the moment. I just feel like they have beautiful illustrations and they really do a good job with their special editions. So no hate on Mystic Box at all, I love them. But anyway, I believe this story is following a group of people that all compete to do a heist and the winner, whoever steals the item first is like the winner and wins a prize. So our main guy is looking for a painting. He ends up finding the painting that he is supposed to steal. And unfortunately the owner of the studio is this very attractive brunette and that she kind of gets in his way. So it sounds like it could be pretty good. Um, I don't know what I'll be picking this up probably later in the winter, but I am definitely interested. And last up, I bought all of these editions of the first four books in the Boys of Toman series because I thought they were beautiful and I really wanted to have them. So I'm not exactly sure where these like were printed or why they're special editions. I just know they have like this black background. I also know that the next two books in the series are not going to be released um, in this edition. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have a matching set when I buy the other two books, but I just, I loved these covers so, so much. Um, I don't love the books with the people on the front. So I am so excited to have these. I ended up buying these off Macari. But anyway, this series, it's worth all the hype. It is the most emotional series I've probably ever read. And I've read some really heavy books, but just everything that goes on in the first two books, it's absolutely amazing. We are following these two characters, Shannon and Johnny. Shannon is a girl with a horrible home life who, because of relentless bullying, ends up going to a new school. And on her first day, she gets hit in the head with a rugby ball, gets knocked out unconscious. And when she wakes up, Johnny Cavanaugh is standing over her and it is their love story and it is so good, so good. So highly recommend. Um, I have not read the next two books. I did start Saving Six, which is Shannon Brothers, Joey's story, Saving Six and Keeping Six, but I will be reading them very soon and I am just trying to mentally and emotionally prepare myself because I know these books are gonna be heavy. But like I said, highly recommend. Definitely check out this series if you haven't yet. All right, guys, that is my most recent book haul. Thank you so much for watching. And please let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of the books I mentioned. And I said this already, I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.